right now, I want to bring in Zudi Jassa. Now, he has been a leader of the anti-jihadi movement within the Muslim community in the United States. Zudi, Dr. Jasser, I should say, welcome back. Now, Donald Trump, as everybody knows, proposed a temporary ban on Muslims. Do you believe that now is the time to do that? Well, you know, listen, Stuart, it, it's time to ban Islamists. It's time to vet against jihadists, the ideology of those who want to defeat us, who divide the world into the land of Islam and the land of war. And they look at uh, uh, human beings in the West as bugs, as people who are inhuman. So we need to start vetting against that ideology. Okay, but to on, overshoot for one and say all Muslims I, would be... I, I want to yeah. hold you up for one second, Zudi, because last night Newt Gingrich came out very strongly and said, for all Muslims living in America, there should be a Sharia test. Test them. If you believe in Sharia, you're out. Now, what do you say to that, Zudi? Well, you know, listen, it doesn't work if, if you did that. We should have a test for immigrants. We should have a test for anyone seeking security clearance. But listen, if that worked, we may want to consider it. But A, it's unconstitutional, un-American. But second, these are folks that are, it's an ideology. And you can't vet for, I mean, in a country that has a Nazi party, Communist Party, those are folks that don't believe in our Constitution. But yet, they operate here because the antiseptic of sunlight works. If they're citizens in our country and they don't have security clearances, and they're not seeking violence, they are protected, and we should not be vetting them. But we should be monitoring them. We should have them as precursor ideologies that our homeland security knows about them. So, yes, he's right. They should be monitored. But to say like he did that because they hit a ISIS website, we should deport them, that's just... A, it doesn't work. B, it's okay. un American. Zudi, I'm going to make the comment that this is a disaster for Islam. This is a disaster for Muslims living in the United States because now you're going to be the subject of some hostility. You're going to come under extra scrutiny. This is going to happen. It is a disaster. Now, do you agree with me on that? Oh, 9-11 was a disaster. Our whole world in the Muslim majority world is in a disaster. And until the West starts to understand that we are going through a major revolution against theocracy, where it's not just a few million that are the problem, it's hundreds of millions that believe in theocratic movements. So yes, Muslims need to wake up, get some fire under their feet, and declare a jihad on jihad, and stand by liberty, stand by freedom. Say that we are American nationals and reject ISIS nationalism, reject the Islamic State, jihad, you, but and gotta, Sharia, and until they do you, that... You've got to do it on the streets. It's not good yeah. enough to put a, a post up on Facebook on your website. That won't work. You've got to have American Muslims taking to the streets saying, we don't want any part of this. We totally reject this. This is out of bounds. We're not like them. We must see it, Zudi, and we're not seeing it. Well, they're... They're in denial. And, and, the, and the most important thing is they can't just reject the act and say we reject terrorism. They need to reject the ideology of misogyny, of homophobia, of Islamism, of the Sharia state. Until Americans and French and Westerners see us reject the underpinnings of the ideas that end up dehumanizing people, celebrating the, the, the liberation of France. So that's why it was such an important day. And this is such a horrific act because they were actually attacking French on the day that separates them from the Islamic State and the Sharia State, well, which is Bastille Day. And that's why we need, as Muslims, to defend French, to defend what the West stands for. And Americans have been giving us a past. Why? Because the president and others protect us in a, in a very bigoted way, rather than saying, treat Muslims like adults, expect them to stand in the 21st century and not the 13th century, which is where we are right now. Zudi Jassa, thank you very much for joining us, as always. Thank you, Zudi.